Hey guys, here are my predictions for AQA 2017 P2 paper. To go with this, I've done all the other units as well. So, you know by now that I am not an examiner, I am just a teacher, I am just making educated guesses here. Based on the specification and based on last year's papers, I'm just guessing. So please, please, please revise everything really, really fully. And to help you with that, there is a free revision guide over on my website. Now P2 is a lot of maths. Like 40% of the paper is going to be maths. I've gone back, I've done the maths, done the statistics, looked at all the postage papers, and it's about 40% of the paper is maths. So it's a lot. Now the really, really important things for you are your units. You cannot get away with not learning your units. Maybe you can for P1 because it's only going to be a few marks, but you cannot just ignore 40% of the paper and not do your units. I may do a video going over your units in flashcard format. There are flashcards over on my website, but please, 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 if you're going to learn anything, make sure it starts with learning your units. Now, if we're looking to get a really, really good grade on P2, we need to make our math skills a little bit more sophisticated. So we are talking about rearranging equations, we're talking significant figures, we're talking standard form. Now to help you with this, again, there's loads of stuff over on my website and loads of stuff over my classroom channel. I'm going to publish a series of really hard videos, basically, um, aimed at A-star students, which cover all of these things. So watch out for those, but in the meantime, go over to my website. Now thinking about A-stars, if you want those A-stars, you need to know everything really really well. So go and check out my playlist which has um, the hardest questions in that. I've done a separate A and A star playlist and we're going to be expecting tricky questions. So we're going to be expecting some big maths questions and don't expect all the information to be in one place. You might have to look back to previous parts of the question to actually get all the information that you need. So we're thinking about momentum which is a big thing. Um, we're talking about electricity, which can be a big thing. And we're talking about combining equations together. So they might give you um, some information, get you to do a calculation, a bit more information, get you to do a calculation. And then you might have to use information from part A, your answer, and then your answer from part B to do part D of the question. And sometimes these can trip people up because the information that you need isn't right there. So we need to be expecting big, long, complicated questions. You also need to be expecting lots of experimental questions. So think back to all of your ISA skills. We need to be thinking about our variables. We need to be thinking about our controls. We need to be thinking about graphs. We need to be thinking about our health and safety. Our results, anomalous results, working out our average. We need to be thinking about predictions and conclusions. Now, this is kind of hard to advise for, but go back and think about your ISA skills. Um, and the reason it's kind of hard to revise for is because we don't know what the experiment's going to be. It could be one that we've done in class, or it could be one that we haven't done in class because we're not expected to, and then you're expected to apply your skills to it. Now this is something that's coming up much more in the new specification, and we're starting to see it creep into the old specification last year. So I think it's gonna be a big part of this year's paper. If we're thinking about six mark questions, I really like forces for this year's question. Um, if you look at the past papers, there are loads and loads of forces questions that come up previously. So like moving objects, people on bicycles, people on boats, people jumping out of aeroplanes, parachutes. Um, and the forces that are acting on them, their speed, their velocity, could include um, a distance time or a velocity time graph but there wasn't a lot on forces in last year's paper. It could also be like a really solid question on electricity, especially resistance. That is a really good question and one that they really, really like. Or it could be something a bit more, um, a bit nicer basically, so a stars question. So those are the three topics that I think might come up as this year's six mark question, but they might just throw throw it size throw a complete curveball in and do one very very similar to last year's question. Now things that weren't in the 2016 paper were forces, 
um, Prim's jumping all over the place. Distance time and velocity time graphs and cars and safety. Now if something's not in a paper one yet, I always put it at the top of my list for next year's paper because, well, basically it's a bit odd to leave stuff out and especially leave stuff out for two years in a row. And other things that didn't come up very much were half-life graphs, um, decay equations. There was a tiny little bit of radioactivity in the paper. The six mark question could seem like quite a big bit. But it didn't very cover very much of the, the unit. And then plugs, circuit breakers and similar equations would be where I'd finish off. Um, Okay guys, I am doing as much as I can to try and make your life as easy as possible and to see if we can't get you loads and loads of marks and then really good grades. Like I said, there's loads of stuff over on my website to help you out, over my classroom channel. I'm going to be working as hard as I can to publish loads of really hard videos for you. Um, but please don't just revise the stuff that I've mentioned in this video, please revise absolutely everything because I don't know what is going to come up, I'm just guessing. Um, good luck guys and if there's anything I can do to help just let me know.